Before we start, let me show you up the final output. This is a website I have made earlier on some tutorial based on HTML5. Today we are going to focus on contact form and its validation inside HTML5. Here I have already made a contact form to show you up how it works. So this is a name field and when I hit go or submit button directly it pops up a message please pull out this field. Here is an email address. You can see there is a text inside my input field as long as this field is empty. When I hit cursor over here and start typing something inside text is disappeared. Moreover, I cannot provide any invalid email address. Say, let me fill up my name first. Ritu Sajdi. Right? Email address. Let me type something very random. And let me hit go button. See the error message pops up. Please include and add the rate in the email address. So, it's validated with proper email address format. So, let me write some email address in proper format. Ritu at the red gmail.com Here's a slider. The minimum value is 0 and the maximum value is 20. By default, it is on the 6. Here's a date field. We can pick any date from it. Here we have age field which stops at every second age. So the initial value I have given is 18. Now it stops at every second number. When I increase it, it stops at 20, 22, 24. Likewise, here is telephone number field. Now let's get started. Let me just remove this form as we can start again. Here I have some internal style rule, line height 40 pixels, some text color I have given and for my form tag I have given margin 20 pixels from all the side. Here is H3 tag, please fill up this contact form. Now let's start creating our form. Say form name equals to form one method post action let it be empty. Let me have closing form tag. Now, let's have our input field. First, let me have your name. Input type is equal to text. Now, I will say name is equal to name. Now, let me also have submit button or go button. Input type is equal to submit value equals to go. Let me have line break between them. Let's save up this much and let's preview now. See now, if I hit go button directly, it allows me to do so. When I will specify here, required, now see the changes. Let me save it up. Let's 
preview now. See now when I hit go, the error message pops up. Please fill out this field. So this is what required does. Now this input type text is compatible in all the browsers. So let me also preview in Firefox. See we have error message again but in some different style as per compatibility of our browser. Please fill out this field. Now let's also preview in Explorer. Again we have error message in different style but it is working in all the browsers and when I hit some name inside it hit go button it allows me to submit the form. Now let's have another input type that is email address. input type let me have his email name equals to email let's save up this much let me preview in chrome first First, I have to fill up name unless it won't allow me to go further as we have mentioned required inside it. So, let me have my name. Or now, let me write something very random in email address and hit go button. See the error message pops up. Please include an at the rate an email. Now, let me write some well ID email address. Let me hit go button. It's working fine. Let me also preview it up in some different browsers to check whether it's compatible with all the browsers or not. Let's preview it up in Firefox now. Very quickly. Let me have my name email address very random and hit go button. See the error message pops up. So it is compatible in Firefox also. Let's have preview in Explorer also. I am just having something very random in both the text field. See you must enter a well ID email address. So it is compatible in all of the browser. As we have seen the importance of required, we can also mention this required in email address also. Now let me show you something very interesting. Say that is placeholder. Here after email, let me have placeholder equals to example John Smith at the red gmail.com. Let's save up. Let's preview. See, we have some text inside our input field as long as it's empty. So, as we required a well ID email address, so I have specified example inside it. John Smith at the red gmail.com to let know the people well I form it acceptable. Now again you can have this placeholder in any of the input field. This is also compatible in all the browsers. Now we are going to discuss another input field. Say so let me have here current age. Let 
me have input type equals to number. Now after number I can specify minimum number what I want. So minimum age I want is 18. You can set any as per your requirement. Maximum let me have is 50. Step let me have is 2. That is it will stop after every second number. Again you can specify any step. Value let me have is 18. That is by default 18 will be shown unless we set any other value. Let me have line break or let me have line break after email address also. Let's save up this much. Let's preview. See, now we have current age field. We can set any age. It stops at every second number as I have specified step as 2. And the default value shown was 18. Now let's check it out whether it's validated the minimum or maximum value. Let me again first fill up some name. Let's leave email address as we have not specified required here. So it will allow me to go. Now let me have age to be something below 18, say 14. Let me hit go button. See the error message pops up value must be greater than or equal to 18. Or let me have something more than 50, say 55. And let me hit go button. Again we have value must be less than or equal to 50. Now let's check it out. It's compatibility in all the browsers. Let me have it in Firefox. You see in Firefox we does not have age picker buttons. Now let's preview in Explorer. Let me try to submit the form. Let me have age to be 12. Let me hit go button. Yeah, it validates. Although it do not have stop button, but it validates our form. Let me also preview in Opera browser. Yeah, it gives us age picker buttons and it stops at every second number. I can change this value to even 1. Let's save up. Let's preview in Chrome. See now it stops it after every number. Let's have another input type. That is, let's have today's date. Now input. Type date. Let me have line break. Let's save up this much and let's preview. Let me first preview in Chrome. Yeah, I have a date picker here. I can set any of the date I want inside this calendar and the year also. Yeah, it's working perfectly fine. Now let's preview in some other browser. So let me preview in Firefox. See again Firefox does not gives us calendar or date picker here. Now huh. 
let's preview in some other browser say in opera yeah opera works fine with it now let's preview in explorer explorer does not support it again it gives me empty input field there are couple of more option let me open one website this is dive into html file dot info slash forms dot html you can see here compatibility is mentioned it's for placeholder it is compatible in all major browser and internet explorer 10 plus and let me show you couple of more option as like date and their compatibility here i have taken type date similarly we can also have date time date time local type month type week type time they are giving examples of that but i suggest not to use it for now as it is not compatible even in major browsers that's why i am not using it you can see the compatibility chart here even in modern browsers like firefox and chrome it does not support i will drop this link in description so that if you want you can study from it sooner or later all the browsers may support all the free but for now not supported in all the browsers now let's have another input field that is telephone again it is not supported in any of the browser but still let's have look after it say telephone input type equals to tell name equals to user tell now we can give pattern say so pattern equals to D inside curly braces number of digits. Say I have it ten. Let me close this field and have a line break. Let's see what. Let's preview. See when I mention very few number less than ten. and hit go button it pops up the message please match the requested format and even though when i give it 10 numbers and hit go button again also it pops up the message so it is not supported in any of the browser i have already tested it now let's have one more input field that is slider let me have it say set this section level input type equals to range again i can specify minimum range say minimum i want is 0 maximum i have it 20 you can have any of the range you like step let me have is 2 and value let me have is 6 as default it will show 6 now unless i set to any other let me have 
line break let me have go button after this satisfaction level let's see up let's the view see now we have slider on satisfaction level as range the default value i have given is 6 and the maximum value is 20 so from 0 to 20 and its default is 6 let me preview it in some other browser so let me preview in explorer see in explorer you can see very clearly it is on the 2 and when i increase 6 8 and it stops at every second number till 20 slider looks much fine in internet explorer or let me preview in firefox also same results as chrome let me preview it in opera also same result as chrome and firefox So this is done friends and if you want to learn these subjects directly from me do contact me do not forget to subscribe me have a good day